what's going on, y'all? <clears throat> What's going on? What's going on on this uh, Friday? I decided to come on today to talk about real estate, financial freedom. I have um, I have some deals going on right now. I'm about to. I'm in the process of buying a deal, um, selling one of mine. So I got a lot of stuff happening. Um, I might put it up on TikTok, but anyway. Um, I'm here to talk about real estate, guys, and if y'all have any questions, put them in the chats. I love talking about real estate investing, and um, I buy not using my own money or very little bit of my own money, and I go out there with creative financing and finance my deals, and then I get them renovated and I rent mine out to Section 8. So if this is what you want to know, stick around. We'll talk about that a little bit. Um, I got a workshop coming up today in one more hour, or actually like in 45 minutes, and I'll be talking about fun, how to get funding for your deals. You don't have to go out there and pay cash for these properties, okay? If that's the choice that you want, you can, but your return on investment is very um, low when you go pay cash for your property. So I'm going to be on my workshop in another out, another 45 minutes. All you got to do is click the link in the profile if you want to sign up. Um, you can. If not, no big deal. Um, but if you have any questions about real estate, put them in the chats. I'd love to answer them. I decided to come on real quick before my workshop. I'm interested. Live in Paradise says, <clears throat> I'm interested in doing Section 8. Well, um, I'll be teaching that. I will be teaching that. But right now I'm doing I'm teaching about the funding side of it because you got to know how to get the properties and uh, and move forward and then get to that point. All right. So that's what I'll be teaching. What is low as a down payment? There's so many things that go into that. How much you're buying at below market value, where the, where the area is. I can't tell you one deal how it's going to be. It's, it's impossible. Um, what type of funding are you going to use? There's all different type of variables involved. So I can't, I really, I wish I could answer that, live in paradise, but I'm just telling you in general, you're not paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to get these deals. You, you don't have to. All right. It's all about leveraging using other people's money. I bought houses where I had to put three thousand dollars down. And I've also bought properties where I had to put um, uh, fifteen thousand dollars down. Right. Somebody said the lower, the better. Well, of course. Right. But somebody thinks a deal is not a deal just because you have to put fifteen or twenty thousand dollars down. That could still be a deal depending on the numbers. But it's your mindset and lack and people's lack of knowledge, not yours. I'm just saying with people's lack of knowledge that prevents them from moving forward and being in fear, which I understand because I've been there. But yeah, I, gr I got it. Lower is better. But even if you have to put money down at fifteen or twenty thousand dollars, if you're getting a 25 percent rate of return, that's still a good deal. OK, uh, let's see. Uh, what's going on, Eddie Ames? How you doing? Uh, Angel Snell says, I am a housing choice voucher specialist in Indiana. All right. Awesome. Uh, Eddie, I thank you for the endorsement, man. I appreciate it. Um, but I'm, I'm here talking about real estate investing. Um, that's good that you're on the voucher specialist side, uh, Indiana. And, and, and uh, 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 Angel Snell, uh, I'm, I'm curious to know, I don't know much about Indiana, but how many voucher or I would love for you to come on, but... Um, I rent my properties out to Section 8, but I'm a real estate investor, so I'm here. I, I want to make sure I get this cleared up. I'm here to teach people the real estate investing side. It just so happens that I rent out to Section 8 and you're in here. You're a specialist. So Angel Snell can can vouch for this, what I'm about to tell him. But I like dealing with low-income housing Section 8 because the fact of I get guaranteed income every single month. That's why I've been dealing with low-income housing Section 8. Um, I don't worry about tenants tearing up my properties because these families, it doesn't take them. They don't sign up on the on the waiting list and get there like in five, five days to get the voucher. It may take them uh, one year, two years, even five years to be able to get the voucher. So I know this because I've been doing this for a long time. I'm, I'm sure Angel Snell can vouch for me. But as a real estate investor and a landlord, I don't mind renting out to Section 8. 
the problem is there's so many bad connotations about them out there. So if you really know what you're doing, that's guaranteed income every single month. And in some cities, in some cities, not all, some cities, you get what you call a landlord incentive and you get a bonus, a small bonus. Not here where I'm at, but in others. So because I've read about that. My best friend just closed on his first five plex a week ago today. Awesome. Tyler uh, WXBB. Uh, Angel Snell says, I love that you educate landlords and their investments. Angel, I would love for you to be able to get on right now. I don't normally have people on here, but if you're a specialist, do you mind um, coming in with me? I would really love that. You'd be the first person I'd had on here because I want to hear your side about Section 8 since you're a specialist, if, if you really are. Let me know if you want to uh, join on. I would love to have you as a co-host. Okay, do we have any other questions about real estate, though? That's what I really want to know. Um, because I really just just helping people out because, man, when you can get guaranteed income every single month, it's that's a beautiful thing. Okay, so I'm just I'm just educating people and showing them, look, there's money, there's there's money to be had in real estate and you can get to. Um, <laughs> OK, no problem. Um, there's money to be had out here and you can easily uh, make something happen. Somebody says, when is the next workshop? It's today. It's going to be it's 621 and another. What is that? 39 minutes. So I'll be on. So, guys, if you want to sign up for the workshop, <clears throat> all you got to do is click the link in the profile. Signing up today at, in 39 minutes. I'm going to have another one tomorrow because I'm doing some back to back right now. I'm doing some back to back. So small minimal fee. If you want to sign up, you can because I won't be doing this much longer. Promise. Things are starting to develop and things are starting to change. So um, I would take advantage of this situation for a small nominal fee. You're paying to get uh, some great detail about real estate investing. And I'm going I'm going from the beginning. I'm talking about finding funding, flowing it. I'm going to talk about marketing. Today, I'm talking about funding your deal. And um, for $29, $29.99, I'm not even pushing it. You want it? You want it? If not, you're not. <laughs> it's no big deal. Have a good lease. That is correct. You got to have a good lease because um, that's your protection. Your protection between you and the uh, tenant. So um, I would say after doing this for 24 years, <clears throat> I've had great leases and you got to stand to them and uphold them as a landlord. But at the same time, I've only had three evictions. So I don't think that's bad at all. Three evictions for 24 years. I guess I'm doing something right. So, But I'll be doing one of those, uh, a workshop on a lease contract, and probably either Sunday or Monday. So I'll be going over detail on what I put into my uh, lease contract to protect me as a landlord. And you could do the same thing. So I got a lot of stuff coming up. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be talking about rehabbing, how to rehab your deals, um, to where when you rehab it, you're not coming out of pocket a whole lot. You're leveraging by using other people's money. I'll be talking about different funding sources to where you get your rehab done. Um, and again, it's from the creative financing side. I'll tell you, I'll teach you how to rehab it, what to look for, what to replace, um, the items that need to get done. It's just going to be so much, man. It's going to be so much. And usually... I'm in my workshops for about an hour, maybe a little bit over. Yesterday was a little bit over. It's like an hour. No, about an hour. And I do Q&A at the end. So if you have any questions, we can always answer those, ask those too. <clears throat> All right. So I'm not going to stay on here much longer, but I just wanted to you know, tell y'all I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm live right now. Again, I'm only going to stay on for a few more minutes because I got a workshop coming up in a little bit over 30 minutes. If you want to sign up for the workshop, click the link in the profile. Does anybody have any questions about real estate? Do you want to get the financial freedom? Do you want to change your life? Uh, it took me a while to figure this out. I always talk about this, but man, I'm saving you the 10, 15, 20, 25 year learning curve just by following and watching something that I do. And I love teaching this and helping people to get to that next level. All right. So uh, tell me what city and state you're from. Let's look up some deals on here. Come on. I'm going to show you, man. There's, I, I like showing this because people don't really believe that there's deals out there. And I show this all the time. There's, you don't have the right software. You don't know what to look for. People don't know how to get the right financing. But, man, they'll, they'll 
I almost said it. But uh, yeah. All right. So anyway, do we have any questions? I'm going to look for a deal here. I'm going to do it live right now. I don't see nobody saying anything. So I'm going to put in uh, San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, Texas. There are deals in San Antonio. So if you live in San Antonio, uh, you might want to pay attention to this. And then I rent this thing out. And when I rent it out, it doesn't take long to rent it out because as long as you rehab it good and uh, have good contractors, it won't even take long to rent your properties out. And you don't have to get fancy with it or nothing like that. Uh, ooh, I found one. I think I found one. I think we looked at this last time. Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's check it out. Let's check out this deal right here. Um, before I get started, I'm, I'm very big on taps. If y'all can tap your screen, because that's just letting me know that you like this information, um, that my connection is good, and it helps the algorithm out. So instead of having 626, man, can we have like 6,000? Can I get 6,026? How about we do that? That would be good. I'm doing this for free. <laughs> I'm doing this for free. Hold on. All right, I'm doing this for free to show y'all how to make this happen. Let's see if this is a good deal. I'm going uh, to flip my thing around. Um, yeah, qualifying your tenant is important. That's that's mega important. As a matter of fact, I'll be teaching you that about how to screen your tenants. There's some things that I do that not a lot of people do on how to screen my tenants. So um, there's software programs out there, but there's something else that uh, you could use to be able to qualify your tenants. That's another thing I'll be teaching in my workshops that I got coming up in the near future. So if you want to sign up, for $29.99, that's not bad. All right, I found something. This is San Antonio, Texas. And then I just I do a I just look at the outside first, all right, and just see what it is, and then I work my way in on the numbers. But tell me what y'all think. You think this would make a good rental property? What y'all think? Just looking at the pictures. Because I like to make sure this property has a lot of space. I like to make sure, I want to know if I got light rehab, heavy rehab. I'm looking at the appliances. I'm looking at all this stuff. What y'all think? Tap your screen and give me a thumbs up if this is good or tap your screen and give me a thumbs down. What y'all think? Again, we're not even worried about the numbers right now. We're just looking at the pictures. I think this will make a good, I think right now, I'm going to give myself a, th let, me put, let me put a thumbs up in here. I don't see nobody else doing it, so I'm going to put a thumbs up. Got a quiet crowd today. I think this would make a good rental. All right. It looks like just everything is basic in here. You know, it's nothing fancy. And my motto is make it clean and functional. But yeah, I think this will make a really good rental property. <laughs> Carpet in the bedrooms. I like that. It may need some little uh, TL. It may need a little uh, TLC. But other than that, I'm going to tell you, my opinion, that's a nice little rental property right there. We haven't even looked at the numbers yet. But anyway, there's three steps. I tell people all the time, there's three steps to make this happen. Find your deal, fund your deal, and flow your deal, okay? And flow is like cash flow. Matter of fact, I want to show you all something too. Now let's talk about, speaking of flow, let me show you something. Because I ran out to Section 8. I show this all the time. And then I'm going to bounce. All right, and then I'm going to bounce. But look, San Antonio, Texas. Watch this. All right, San Antonio. San Antonio has some landlords like myself and investors, and we rent our properties out. Look at all of us as landlords. We want to get guaranteed income. All right, look, we get guaranteed income because we're dealing with the government. And then these families that are on these housing programs, they get these vouchers from the government, and you can put your property on here for free so you don't have to pay for no software program. You put your property out here for free like I do, and then my phone rings constantly because I've got a family in need of one of my properties. So that's how that works. And try to figure it out yourself because you'll lose your shirt. Trust me, I did. <laughs> I lost my shirt a few times. You don't want to go through the same thing, but I know how to teach it to where you can get your property up and running rent this thing out in no time to low income housing section eight and start getting payments real soon. So uh, again, I'll be teaching that coming up. But for right now, tonight, I'll be, I'll be, today I'll be talking about funding your deals and I'll be doing that in another 30 minutes in my workshop. All right. So again, if you want to sign up, click the link. Any questions about real estate? Any questions about real estate investing before I get out of here?
Oh, and by the way, I know I get this question asked so much, you know, do you need a license for this? You don't need a license for this. That's the good thing about it. You don't need a degree. You don't have to go to school. By the way, I'm going to promise you one thing. There is no there is no university out there that's teaching what I'm teaching because a lot of the professors don't know, know this. Isn't that, isn't that weird that you go to school and they're not teaching this stuff? Because you can become financially free. You can become an entrepreneur. They want to teach us how to be employees. So I come out here and show you how to make extra income. Can you do this with no money or bad credit or good credit? Uh, Lalas, when I first started out, I had bad money and uh, bad money. I had bad credit and not a lot of money. So yes, you can. Now, is it going to take some money to do this? Yes, but it's not like you need, you know, $100,000 or $50,000. You are going to need some money. Um, now, your credit, depending on how you go about it, because there's different funding ways to do this. And that's why I tell people, come to my workshop tonight in 30 minutes. You're going to find out the ways to make this happen. All right. So you don't think you have to have perfect credit and a whole lot of money. That's a good question. Uh, I look at the area shops, schools and hospitals. That's what I do, too. You must have came to one of my workshops. <laughs> All right. Qualify your tenants is important. Yep, I agree with you 10,000%. What's your position in real estate? Um, I'm a real estate investor. I have over 16 single family houses and I got two apartment complexes. I've been doing this for 24 years and I rent out to Section 8 and I get guaranteed income. So I'm getting paid to the government. And I also do traveling nurses and insurance companies. So and I'll be teaching that later on too. Matter of fact, I had an email. I showed that the other day where I had an email where the insurance reached out to me about one of my properties, but I already have it rented out. And uh, they wanted me to rent their uh, rent my property out to an to a insurance policy holder. People don't even know about that. Uh, you can make good money higher than market rent by renting out to uh, with policy holders with insurance companies. So, um, but unfortunately, well, my property is already rented out on that one. But they reached out to me just uh, two days ago. Matter of fact. So, yeah, I don't know if that's what you were asking me, but, yeah, that's my position in real estate. Do, and do I like it? Yeah. Um, I invest in crypto. I'm not really that great at it, but with real estate, yeah. I've been After doing it for 24 years, I had my real estate license, but I got rid of it two years ago. <clears throat> but I like holding and being an investor and a landlord. And let me tell you why, too. Let me show you this. Because when you buy real estate... Um, uh, when you buy real estate, my thing was I didn't want to be a realtor and a broker and all that. That's not important to me. And I'm going to tell you why. You can't build wealth by doing that. I, I guess I want to prove that to you because I don't I don't want you all to think I'm like. If you if they did a study, they did a study. And what I want you to see is it's through real estate. It's not through crypto or mutual funds or anything like that. 90% of millionaires did it through real estate. All right. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, you, you do it through real estate. Hold on. That's how you build your true wealth. If I can find it. I used to have it on here all the time. Okay, been looking into broker. I'm not saying broker's license is not good, but <clears throat> that's a lot of responsibility too. You know, I keep that in mind, too. But the point is, um, um, let me show you what I was talking about. When I tell you this is true, look, 90 percent of all millionaires become so through owning real estate. More money has been made in real estate than in all industry investments combined. And that's powerful. OK, and you don't need a degree. You don't need a license and you can leverage by using other people's money. It's 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 proof right there. They did a survey and that's been out for a long time. Right. So, yeah, I, I worked my way backwards. My point was I wasn't trying to be a millionaire. That's not my that's not my goal. I simply wanted my time back. That's that's all I was trying to do was get my time back and I got it back. So. Working for corporate America, I just I can't think on that level anymore because I, I'm not better than anybody. It's just I have a different change of mindset, especially after I got laid off in in the early 2000s. I got laid off and I said, man, 
no, I'm done with this. I'm not, I'm tired of exchanging time for wages. I got to figure out a different way. And um, making somebody else rich is not one of them. And let me show you what I'm talking about. I show this on my board all the time because this is so important. Um, I'm going to show you this. The reason why I do the buy and hold. I show this every once in a while. All right. Y'all want to see this what's on my boards? And I can show you why the buy and hold is way better than fix and flip and hold something. Let me know by tapping the screen. I'm going to hit y'all up on some game. And everything that I'm doing and showing on here, I'm going to tell you like this. I've done it except for wholesaling. Let me know by giving me a thumbs up if y'all want to see this and tap your screen. This is something that I put on my board. I created this. Anthony says, okay. Okay, one okay. I find it funny. I come on here, man. I give out so much gain. I don't think people, I don't know if people are sleeping on me or what, but it's, it's all good. It's all good. Here's it is. Well, I want to show y'all this because it's important. I'm going to show y'all why I do the buy and hold over fix and flip and wholesale. And I say this all the time. These two will create you a job because you can't walk away from this. You got to constantly be in it. You set this up one time. You set this up one time and you get paid every single month. So you buy these properties that need the rehab. See how messed up it is. Then you turn around, renovate it, and then you're going to flip it, right? This is the fix and flip. Right, people don't know that you got to pay capital gains tax on that money. And then whatever's left over, you got to pay the broker. But when you pay the broker, you ain't going to have no much money left. So it makes you broker, right? So you're going to have a little bit of money coming out of it for all that time that you spent. And then guess what? Once it's done, you got to go hustle and go do it again. So this really will create you a job. I know because I've been there. When I first started out doing real estate, this is what I was doing. And man, I had this, I said to myself, there's got to be a better way to make this happen. I don't want to, I just created me another job because I was already working for corporate America at the time at a plant and it was, it was tiring. So I said, went back to my mentor. I said, is there a better way I could do this? He says, yeah, you need to do the buy and hold strategy, all right? You need to do the buy and hold where you buy these properties, turn around, rent them out and you hold on to them, all right? So watch this. As I flip my screen around, I'm going to show you this. So this is the buy and hold. I buy these properties. I get them rehabbed because it looks like this. Get them fixed up. And then I turn around and hold on to it and rent them out. All right. When I rent them out, I rent my properties out to Section 8. I could do and I have done traveling nurses, insurance companies, Airbnb, event spaces or rent rooms. I'm going to show you right now. This is my number one go-to right there, Section 8. I get working through the government. These two are good, too, and I teach these. This, Traveling Nurses and Insurance, very good. And then also this one, Event Spaces. I don't even worry about this one. This is what everybody else does, and they don't realize these two right here are powerful. But, hey, here's another thing I want you to know. When you do this the way I teach you, you'll be getting paid every single month on the 1st. That's what you call passive income. So what I'm doing is I'm not exchanging time for wages. I don't want to do that no more. Your time is your most valuable asset. The whole point of me doing real estate is to get my time back, right? Because that's our most valuable asset, like I said. So that's what's important to me. Let me show you what else I like. Because with real estate, they go up in value. So it's appreciation. And every single month, my tenant, as I told you, my tenant base is all these right here. My tenant is paying down the principal. And what's good about this is as this is going up in value and my tenant's paying down, what I want you to see is it's called equity capture. You as the landlord investor get the benefit off of that. So I'll take that money. I'll go to the bank. I'll pull that equity out, go to the bank and say, hey, bank, I'd like to do a, a cash out refi or a HELOC. And then they'll say, OK, so they give me that money. You know what I do? I go out and go get some more real estate, all right? I go out there and go get some more real estate. Now, let me ask you a question. Is this bringing value to anybody right now? Are y'all learning something? I got to close my door. Is anybody learning something? Give me a thumbs up and some taps if, you, if, you, if you're catching on. Am I losing people? I just want to know. Lost 40000 in Fed and they trashed everything. Yep, you must have not um, uh, screened them right. You must have not screened them right or you probably didn't screen them at all. 
So you got to back up. It's not real estate works. It's just that you may have not been doing the right things. And I teach you how to do the right things, right? Now, whether you follow it or not is a different thing, but I've been doing it for 24 years. I never had tenants trash my properties. So because it happened to you doesn't mean it doesn't work. It's just that, unfortunately, you just didn't know how to do it. All right. Yep. Screened every red was good. Something happened. I don't know what happened. But again, you know, uh, something happened. I don't know what it, I don't know your whole process. I don't know your whole um, situation that happened. Uh, have you ever done land contracts? No, I haven't done land contracts. I'm not into land contracts. I like buying houses with structure. I like buying properties with the structure on it so I could turn around and refinance it and do other things. Land contracts, that's just not me. All right. So what I do is when I go get more real estate, I'm going to go get me another single family house. And when I get this other single family house, what's happening is I'm putting little to no money down. Okay. Little to no money down. I've had equity captures so big and enough that I was able to go do a cash out refi Instead of getting a single family house, I was able to get a apartment complex, an apartment complex. So I tell you that because right now I've got two. I'm telling this to impress upon you that if you follow the steps and what I teach you in my workshops, eventually in time, you could do apartment complexes, too, because I never thought that I'd be able to get one. Now, I didn't get it by myself and I'm not paying cash for it. Um, it was a, I'm in a partnership. And that's the beauty of real estate and getting deals like this. All you can do is you can partner as well. So I've done many par um, partnerships with apartments. All right. So something else I want to let you know is you can write stuff off. When you're buying these real estate deals, you set up a business entity, whether it's LLC, S Corp, C Corp, whatever it is. You get tax write offs. So this expensive phone that we're on, you know what you can do? You can write that stuff off. You already have it. Why not put up a business structure so that you can claim the expenses that you already have. Watch this. I have a computer, right? Guess what? I write this stuff off. Look at this. My monitor. I get to write that stuff off. My desk. Because all this is pertaining to my real estate business. My machine. My hutch. All those books right there. All that stuff. Any class that I take towards real estate. I get to write stu that stuff off. That's what makes it so good. All right? So let me show you. Uh, I'm being the bank or somebody else can be the bank. And then another one is 1031 exchange. OK, so when I sell one property, OK, I could sell the another one and not have to pay any taxes. All right. So what did you all think about that? The things that I've done and I decided to put it on like a little flow chart on my chalkboard on my board just to give you an idea. But what I'm showing you is that that's why buy and hold is way better than fix and flip and wholesaling. None of this stuff right here can you do with this or this. This is only being able to be done by this right here. Who likes that so far? I'm just curious. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down or what most people are not going to do is answer. So <laughs> tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Was it something that uh, is good? Somebody keep me says, yep. Okay, good. Thank you. Keep me. That's not bad. 40, 30 people in the room and one responds. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm not going to reach everybody. Not everybody wants this game and information. Not everybody wants this. But anyway, there you go right there. Um, I'm about to get ready because I got my workshop coming up. Um, I'll be teaching about funding. I'm going to teach you all the creative ways to get funding for your deals if this is what you want because this is what got me past my corporate America job. This is what got me to financial freedom and get my time back. Um, and that's what I love teaching people. So um, if you want to know more, guys, again, click the link in the profile and uh, I'll be starting up in 15 minutes. So um, I might be on later tonight to talk about real estate. Uh, if you have any questions, always I always tell people before I leave, put them in the chats because I got to get ready for this workshop. Because it's going to be good. It is going to be good. All right. Yes, there's a small fee. It's worth it because you're investing in yourself. All right. All right. So I will see y'all later on. Y'all have a good night.